I think people don't realise how important the North Atlantic actually is for our climate. The general living conditions are actually quite mild. So if things change, we need to know that so people can adjust their life. Well, if you look at the Northern Hemisphere and the polar and subpolar latitudes, about 90% of the people living there, they live in Europe and in Russia. If there's a change in climate, the condition may change and the follow-up would be a migration of people to more positive areas where they can have better living conditions. The oceans play a big role in controlling global climate by distributing heat around the planet. An important region for this is the North Atlantic Ocean. Ocean currents from the tropics bring warm salty water northwards into the Arctic. Here the warm water cools down and sinks in the deep ocean. As global temperatures increase, Arctic ice melts, increasing the freshwater input to the ocean. This lowers the overall density of the Arctic surface ocean waters, which may slow down or even stop deep water formation. This would have an impact on the ocean circulation patterns, heat distribution and ultimately our global climate. As part of the research project NACLIM, scientists from different European institutions take measurements in the ocean from Greenland to the Bahamas. Together these data will form the input to improve the ability of models to predict future climate changes. In order to really see how changes in the ocean affect climate and vice versa, how climate change may affect ocean currents, we really need long time series. And these time series are collected by these mooring arrays that are installed on different locations in the Atlantic Ocean. The moorings are about two and a half kilometer to one kilometer long, held down at the bottom with a heavy weight. And then it's a long cable with, at several designated depths, we have instrumentation that's measuring temperature, salinity and velocities. So they're typically out for one year. And then the next year we come back and we collect the moorings and collect the instruments. The instruments we uh, retrieve the data from and we service the instruments, uh, replace the batteries and so on and make sure that they can function again for another year. Nackling is supporting moorings in three areas. One is the subtropical area between Florida and Africa. One is the subpolar uh, North Atlantic, mainly in the western region. And most importantly, or we concentrate on that, is the Greenland Scotland Ridge, the boundary between the Arctic Ocean proper and the North Atlantic. In the North Atlantic, there is a ridge which runs between Greenland and Scotland, so it's like an, an underwater obstacle and there's a few gaps in there so at these gaps that's where the water crosses from the Atlantic into the Nordic seas and that gives us a really good location where the transport is confined. We see changes in the transport, we see changes on seasonal timescales, we see changes on um, interannual timescales so differences from year to year and it's how, how does dif what, what causes those differences I only have one piece, but I want to see what the entire puzzle looks like. This is a system that goes through the whole of the Atlantic. We call it the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation. And it, this stretches all the way from the South Atlantic all the way up to the high nor northern latitudes up by Greenland and in the Arctic Basin. A lot of the other partners in NACLIM are measuring small flows across crucial areas of the ocean, whereas what we measure is the full of the basin wide all the way across the Atlantic. So we get kind of an integrated measure for the, the overturning circulation there. We have in a number of projects funded by the European Commission and by national funding agencies monitored the circulation in the North Atlantic for the past 20 years. And NACLIM has contributed to this system for the past four years. We know that there is global warming, temperatures are rising, so the heat transport to the north is increasing. On the other hand, our monitoring moorings have shown that the circulation is very stable over these 20 years. So there's no change in the transports, there's only change in the heat content and the temperature. So the warming continues and there will be more warm water going to the north. <laughs> 